Good morning. Thank you, Explorers Club. Thank you to Richards for inviting me and my son Max here for this special, so interesting event. And from my side, before we start with a program, I would like you to come back to 30, 40, 50 years ago when I and my friends started exploration. Just imagine to transfer yourself to Poland under the Polish, under the communist government uh, situation. Just imagine 10 of you students uh, who will have a dream to see the world. If somebody in North Korea now, few students will like to see the world somewhere in South America. The same happened to us. There were about 10 students from Poland who wanted to see outside of communist controlled areas. And we accomplished something what at that time even for us was a dream without realization, without possibility. Imagine now situation in Ukraine. The same what Poland did and Polish people in 70s, 80s, Ukraine is doing now against the Russian uh, aggression, Russian war. And this one presentation will be a little bit of the connection with what we are experiencing now. If we can start the presentation now about Godspeed Los Polacos, document from that time of 50 years ago. In Poland, it's more than 20 hours since the military took over, a move, they said, to prevent civil war. Tonight, their grip on the country is tighter than ever. Poland, now under martial law, is sealed off from the outside world. At the beginning, we were kayaking on the flat waters, and there was always the desire for a challenge. It was really the kind of a thing created me imagination. What is behind the horizon? The idea was thrown probably with some beer or vodka. Hey, what about? Argentina it was so out of the question, so out of the possibilities. Back in the day, oh, as we learned, a man was not concerned. Nobody believed that Berlin Wall will just collapse. Nobody. Nobody believed that Poland will be independent. They were sort of slaves. I'm not sure they knew what they were setting out to do, honestly. You know, I'd never seen anything similar to the scope of this expedition. From screen to screen. Poland was kind of gray, it was lack of any kind of hope. So we were going to the battle. What started in Poland in August 1918 was a genuine revolution. We were basically anarchist dissidents and indeed do the We just found the canyon, nobody did it before. It's our Mount Everest, but upside down, we're going down. The only way we can compare is like we are kamikaze. <laughs> Theirs was the ultimate road trip.
So in 79, 83, we thought we will do six months ex uh, expedition. As you saw the map, when we realized that the world is a little bit bigger than, than we thought at the time, it took us almost s uh, three years to go through 23 rivers, 13 rivers for the first time. Until today, there are many rivers where actively people are coming to navigate and do that activities. Not only tourists, but the local people in Mexico, in Ecuador, in Peru. We did consider the deepest canyon in the world run for the first time, Colca. In 1985-86, I, with the other group, did for the first time run all the Amazon River from the source in Peru to the Atlantic Ocean. Amazon is very complicated river. There was a Washington Post article last Monday where there are questions. Is Amazon longer than Nile? Where starts, where ends? And when we are talking about exploration and finding life somewhere outside of our space, we have not answered few questions yet about this mighty river of Amazon. So explore, explorers, there are few things yet to find, and Amazon definitely is one of those uh, questions which are ready for finding. What I wanted to say that we did navigate it in those 70s and 80s and even 90s, few of those rivers. But what was our repayment for the local people? In Peru, our group established a school, English school for local students to let them accomplish something what normally is not accomplished for a majority of the people who live in those areas which we explore. We did uh, open the school, and Andrzej Piętowski was the director of the school, which is now running for about 20 years, where students can learn English, and then tourists who are coming uh, pay for their services, and they can stay, live, and sustain their life in those areas without going to slums of Lima or Arequipa. That's kind of our uh, accomplishment, which we feel very proud. With publications in National Geographic and many others, uh, information about those areas which we explore or open uh, were transferred that people know about those areas of Colca Canyon or many other rivers in South America and Central America. And again, I started with a few words about the Ukraine. With Ukraine situation, we are talking about saving the planet, but we need to save democracy, we need to save freedom. So this is... This is something what is very important. I am originally from Poland. My family lived in the same house, but lived in five different countries because of the situation with the world and so on. My parents, Ukraine is fighting for the freedom. We need to help them. So that's a side of what I wanted to say. If we can go to the few slides which I wanted to present. Do I need to push? Yes. So here, repayment for what was done over the years. I introduced my sons to the kayaking, and they introduced young generation to the kayaking. This is my son, Max, at the Great Falls, 10 miles from White House. Tough to imagine that type of uh, scenery, but that's what is uh, what you can find uh, in the very close to the uh, DC area, 
Great Falls on Potomac River. I am pushing here. So getting young, young people from the computers, getting them out of the internet, introducing them to uh, something, uh, to enjoy activities outside was very important part of my life lately. Here, a few uh, pictures from our expedition, uh, our track, military track in uh, Tetons, uh, uh, close to Casper, Wyoming, and Las Vegas. So, uh, few of the situations where we found ourselves with a military track from, uh, from, uh, from the uh, Warsaw Pact in Wyoming. Uh, finally, six of us did the first navigation of, of, the, uh, of the Kolka Canyon and uh, landed twice for the Kolka and uh, Amazon River in a Guinness Book of World Records, now it's a Guinness World Records. Again, map of the navigation and uh, all the uh, trip, uh, which we, expeditions we did over those three to five years. What I did over the, well, after returning to the United States, I couldn't go back to Poland because we undertook some political activities. I will be probably in prison if I return. I landed in Casper, Wyoming, and immediately after, uh, after being uh, in the United States with some connection with Jacques Cousteau, we uh, did uh, additional few expeditions in uh, the Amazon in South America. What I am doing lately, helping other people with dreams to re realize their, uh, their dreams. So that was Alexander Zroba, who three times crossed the Atlantic Ocean. He was passing with his kayak close here from Lisbon to, uh, to uh, Florida. And my role with my company is to help those people who do something interesting. Two brothers who wanted to paddle the Amazon, 6,000 kilometers on those type of uh, boats, paddling, realized a big uh, dream of theirs in, uh, in, uh, 19, uh, in 2015. Alexander Doba landed on the New York Times uh, cover of the magazine. I was like a media coordinator for him. So uh, that was my repayment to the others for what we receive from people to realize our expedition. Two, two, two friends on the wheelchairs did a trip from Tierra del Fuego to Alaska. I was again media coordinator for, for them. And uh, uh, she, so uh, when they came to my office and with the life, um, with this happy attitude toward life, what they presented was you have this short time of life, enjoy, get everything you can. So even without legs, they were happy that they can live. Both of them are terminally ill, but they are trying to get from life as much as possible. So that's the trip, uh, again, with, with, uh, without uh, being uh, functioning, without uh, functioning legs, to accomplish what they accomplished was a lot more difficult than my kayaking over the many rivers in the Americas. Uh, landed, uh, there is another person who is in the Amazon at this point, walking the Amazon for six years. He is now eight years and yet uh, helping at this point people, native groups to establish a land for themselves because with the, uh, with the entry of the industry, many of the indigenous people are losing their own territory. Amazon 1985, uh, that was uh, our 
expedition which I uh, introduced uh, before. Uh, I believe for me that was a uh, kind of biggest accomplishment, 10 of us for seven months around this Amazon. I am running the environmental uh, company in Washington, D.C., uh, here renovating uh, the Capitol Dome and uh, as, a, uh, as a mechanical engineer, I am combining this nature exploration with work which is related to the nature. And few shots yet from the, from the Amazon. Ending of the Amazon, I was a little bit more muscular at the time. Always my son is saying, you had some muscles before. So uh, Joe Kane, who did uh, navigate all the Amazon together with me. And with that, I will uh, thank you for listening to me. And uh, thank you for this uh, opportunity to, to present uh, those uh, few uh, those, uh, those few um, uh, uh, thoughts. Again, we are living on the very fragile planet, but let's save democracy from those who want to destroy it. Thank you very much.